This is Galley, which is a 60-foot Les Allen uh, traditional boat with a fantastic vintage FR2 Lister uh, twin-cylinder diesel in it. Les Allen, much admired, built on the BCN for many, many years, going back to the days of working boats when they used to repair those. Sadly, decided to cease building boats in 1997 at his Valencia Wharf yard in Oldbury. Moving into the boat from the well deck, you enter the saloon area. It's all very nicely fitted out. Good solid woodwork with a nice finish to it. It's not embellished with lots of frills, but it's extremely well put together. You have a saloon here. The seating there is movable. You can rearrange it according to how you wish. And a solid fuel stove set in the aft corner of the saloon which provides a decent spread of heat in the boat compared to putting it by the front door where you come in. Galley lies beyond, you've got laminate tops here, there's a fridge underneath, 12 volt, gas cooking, all in very clean and tidy condition and that's looking back down the saloon out through the double doors into the well deck. Corridor leads off the galley and off this corridor you enter the bathroom. It's a cassette toilet and there's one of the radiators. You've got central heating throughout the boat as well by the way. And you have a shower over a three-quarter bath. Set of side doors. Note the traditional decoration. All the decorative artwork on this boat is by Dave Moore who is one of the leading practitioners of that kind of work in the canal world. Um, coming out of the corridor, beyond the bathroom, you enter the bedroom. It's a permanent double berth. And you also have a full height wardrobe with a mirror attached to it. And then a door from the bedroom leads into the engine room. Your side hatches both sides and there is this FR2. It's a marine unit, always was, still has its Blackstone gearbox on it. You can see the original throttle lever there. But of course that's now operated from the stern of the narrow boat. Uh, probably started life in something like a small trawler fishing boat. And beyond this you have the boatman's cabin, which is a faithful replica of a traditional boatman's cabin with the drop-down bed. You have a solid fuel range in the corner, the drop-down table, uh, once again Dave Moore's decoration, much in evidence. And the woodwork is all traditionally scumbled as well, wood-grained if you like. That's the coal box, which acts as a step up to the stern. And there's the speed wheel and the push-pull gear shift as well. And that is Gani. If you want to download a brochure or view a layout plan and a photo gallery, please go to rugbyboats.co.uk.